Our first guest is an Emmy Award winning actress who plays a crazy scheming woman whose mouth is out of control. Remind you of someone? Take a look. Woman, for God's sake, give him back to his mother so he can die in her arms. No! Let him have one moment's peace before he meets his maker. No! You are a monster, Beth. You don't care about this little baby. You shut up. You shut up, because you are a selfish slut. And the only thing you want is to keep the waste for yourself. Ah! <laughs> How much do you love passions? Please welcome Kathleen Noon. <laughs> What a great character. Oh, oh she's outrageous. Do you have so it. much fun playing her? Absolutely. I said to my executive producer, this is a job you come to with great joy because I get to come in and bring in my own things and add a lot of stuff and they give me some, some wonderful things to work with. Oh, it's sure. just, it, And Kelly McCarty, I want to just acknowledge her. She's a girl who plays Beth, my daughter, is a wonderful wonderful young actress professional actress the chemistry that you have together yes. is phenomenal yeah. our executive producer said ah, this is our new super couple <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, was, that wasn't even a slap that kelly just put on you that was a that quote was just, uh, from boom. last week throwing a punch yeah. on you wow yeah we do that we've developed this relationship where they're constantly going poking or pushing each other you know and then at the same time they cannot possibly live without it's each like other. children yeah. it's like siblings mm -hmm. yes Absolutely. Very similar. <laughs> yes. You also work, get to work with another very fun actor, actress, oh, you know actress, this. actor, Precious Orangutan. Yes, Precious Orangutan. Precious, Wait, you know, Precious is, is male and plays a female? Pre yes, but he doesn't know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had Precious on the show. We must. No, we talk I about Precious it. all the time. Oh, he's wonderful. So yeah? He's just wonderful. And he particularly loves food and of course what do we do we have scenes where we always have some food in it uh, and we had to do a food fight once and we had the pl this platter filled with ham and cheese and bologna and all that kind of stuff he's gotten to the point where he knows five four three two one right that's how they cue us to start the wow. scene right. and on okay he said five four three two one we had a little dialogue myself i'm, t I'm talking to him and he picks up the bologna to start to throw to me, but he happens to pass his mouth, <laughs> and then he throws it. And he was, and he did that on every take, and he did it. Because every time he said, "Put, leave it in." You know, he's going to do that. Oh, wow. food! Food is impossible. You cannot put food in front of orangutan, and it's so they're going to be there. Now we have another clip of Edna. Let's take a look. Hey, no check and raise. Remember, it was your rules. I agree. You get another inside straight. Oh. Yeah. Thought her a police siren. No. <gasps> Nothing. <gasps> Boy, that's a good sign. <laughs> Beth, I don't know where she went to. But boy, she went out of here in a hurry, and that is not a good sign far from it, because she is up to something. <laughs> Oh my God, who is that? <laughs> it's, um, it's great to be able to do a show now where I don't have to wear a stitch of makeup. I think, I, because I have a creative, very creative imagination, and I'm able to use it in these roles that I get a chance to play on television. Well, you've always played very strong characters. Ellen Dalton from All My Children was another yeah. very strong character who you won an Emmy for, yes. Ellen Dalton. Yes. But also had a very funny occurrence on the way up to the stage. You actually lost your shoe. Oh, did I ever. I borrowed these shoes from the wardrobe department because the costume designer said, wear patent leather with your, with your dress. I said, great, but I don't have patent leather shoes. I do. They're a half size too large for me. We tried to stuff some things in the toe of it, you name it. And I was so excited when they called my name, my knees started to shake so badly that by the time I try and got up, tried to go to the steps to get up them, I couldn't move. I, my knees were like this. <laughs> my shoe comes off. I can't get down to get the shoe up because my knees are shaking so bad. <laughs> Finally, John the clerk comes over and he says, do you need help? I said, please, or I'm, you're going to give me this award right now. <laughs> down here in the studio. It's true. I could not get up the steps. Did you end I, up putting your shoe back on and going up or going oh, up no, the shoe? Oh, no. I just grabbed it in my foot because I figured I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Which, I want it. That Emmy. <laughs> exactly. Very funny. Well, when we come back, you can tell us how the acting bug bit you. Okay. How about that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Coming up next, Catelyn reveals a secret passion of her own.